Snails got you down. Is it a little like the poop apocalypse in your aquarium? Have your snail stonks been in decline? Well, don't worry, because today we're going to talk about making mad money off your snails. <clears throat> Hey there, thanks so much for joining me today. Aquarium snails can start to get out of hand if you don't have a plan to control their ever-growing population. Well, let's, let's ditch this jacket, how about that? Oh. Some can even crowd your tanks so much they eat all the available food source and start to die off. My favorite method of population control and probably the reason you clicked on this video is selling these happy little guys to other hobbyists. So it's now their problem. Before we make some money, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have haven't already so I can stop asking in every single video. All right, so selling snails. What to expect? So if you watch my other two making money videos, this part is gonna sound a bit like a broken record. You're not gonna get rich, I'm sorry to tell you, especially just off snails. Now if you have, like, if you're selling everything, you might. You might get rich, who knows? Look at aquarium co-op. First things first with snails, a little different than shrimp or plants. The shrimp or the plants or the fish, they're probably just, they're gonna sell people want them. With snails, they're not the highest demand, so you may have some disappointment. Yeah. They may not be the most active ad. So when I when I sell them, I do try to give extras and kind of, you know, hey, come, come back, I'll give you more next time. That is, unless you have a very specific cool or rare snail, like the, the Sulawesi snails are kind of cool you might be selling those more than like ram's horn snails so when you're selling them try not to care what they're used for one of my best buyers who may have stopped stopped recently maybe his fish died. he used to uh buy buy bags like a bag of 50 bag of 100 ram's horn snails and he'd feed them to his pee puffer and like i don't care i'm getting rid of them i'm gonna probably squish them anyway it, no i won't i don't squish snails that is i mean unless you have a personal connection with your snails like i don't know if you have mystery snails and you've named each one maybe then you'd care a bit more but for these little tiny little pest snails malaysian trumpet snails ram's horn snails pond snail whatever whatever you're trying to sell that's smaller uh, don't care what they do otherwise you're not going to sell many trades 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 i can't i can't stress this enough your snails are probably more valuable in a trade than they are cash value you can trade a big bag of them for another like a big bag of pest snails for a couple like really cool snails i've i've done that and they're that's down there you could also get other plants shrimp you know other aquarium supplies who knows just be open to trades and the, the world is your oyster, is your snail. The world's your snail. Right. Make sure for especially smaller ones, you're selling them in groups, selling one snail at a time, you're not gonna make a lot of money. Once again, unless you have the rare or the cool ones that you could sell for like 10 or $15 each. I sell mine in a minimum group of 10 and realistically I give them at least like 15, probably 20 for the $10 that they spend, 10, $5 that they spend. Cause one, I, I have so many snails and like I said, they're lower demand. So I just don't sell as many and then I do want the customers to be impressed like when they open the bag like oh I only bought 10 but I got 20 that's what this guy's really cool I'm gonna go back to his shop and spend more money all right our expectations are set now how do we sell these as I mentioned they can be hard to sell because well a lot of people see them as a pest they don't see them for the benefit that they are in the tank the cleanup crew the, the algae eating crew like I I used to not like snails but now that I've had them for so long like I can't have a tank without snails one because they'll just get in anyway with my plants and stuff and two they're so helpful with keeping the tank cleaner than it would be like if you have hair algae just get some snails some ram's horn snails they'll dummy it that said as as I've mentioned, easiest way to do this is your online listing. You know, it's easier than posting uh, for sale signs on local mailboxes. I, I really don't know how else you would sell it besides these apps nowadays. Uh, you could try going to your local fish store. They might take bulk snails because who knows what they're going to do with them, but they're not going to give you nearly the price that you would get to another hobbyist. Just fair warning. So when we make our online listing, obviously we have to explain what type of snail we have. You know, the color, like ram's horn, there's like six different colors the species etc that's pretty straightforward right you're also going to want to explain how many they're getting you know when i do it i do like ram's horn snails x10 and then like i said yeah i've been over that but you got to explain how many they're getting for the price that you're posting on the ad that's pretty common sense obviously as i mentioned just right there the price <laughs> how much you're selling them for and then as i've stated before whether you're offering pickup or delivery or shipping a local meetup whatever you want to do in regards to actually handing the shrimp off explain that in the post also it's good to explain perhaps like nearite snails are a bit more sensitive so you're going to want to explain the 
a brief kind of care description or a link to somewhere that has a care description for, for those types of snails just to entice the buyer to come to you like oh this person actually cares wow. when it comes to the, the pest snails you may not need that much information and you may want to just sell more expanding on that you're going to want to list like its eating habits whether it eats live plants or not that's really important like ram's horns malaysian trumpet snails they don't eat live plants but apple snails do i believe nearite snails will eat certain live plants so that's very important to some people i like i have so many plants i don't really want a snail eating them i had i put an apple in here and he became a lawnmower so that wasn't good i had to remove him and that's because i, I was actually told it didn't eat plants and then it clearly ate freaking plants also breeding habits like like how it lays eggs with like with mystery snails like the big clumps they do the ram's horn snails a little thing like that because that's going to give the buyer a bit of warning for when the snail does eventually start reproducing and then they won't be like what the hell is this random glob of crap in my tank and also if you're selling something like a mystery snail that's not a hermaphroditic species you're going to want to explain that they're going to need a male and a female for it to even lay eggs so if they like bought a male from you they'd be perfectly fine the snail's not going to reproduce you know just little tidbits like that also maybe like their full grown size and their waist output like Ramshorn snails, I say they only grow like, it's what, an, an inch? Not even, a, a half inch at their biggest, where like the other snails, Nearite mystery snails, they do get bigger. So it's good to explain that because some people don't necessarily know what they're signing up for. As I mentioned there, check with your local fish store. They might give you some, some store credit or something like that. That's really good if you have a ton of snails and you just need some supplies. You can go get store credit, pick up the chlorinator, nets, fish food, tanks eventually. Who knows? And also with, with snails too, check want to buy ads rather than like post your for sale, but go check the want to buy ads because there might be someone who maybe has a pee puffer who's like, hey, I want to buy bags of snails. And then you don't even have to post an ad. You could just be there like, snail dealer obviously tell your aquarium friends you have some snails they might want in on the action share your your post to social media i don't think snails are allowed on facebook so be careful there and then you wait for the contacts and as always be ready for the ghosts the flaking the weirdos the cheap skates and as always the lovely people who will eventually buy your snails people are going to ask some questions try and answer as much as you can don't get too annoyed with all the stupid things people ask you so we got our ad we got the word out let's not forget the little things you're gonna need fish bags or i mean i guess you could sell snails more in like ziploc bags they don't need a lot of water especially with local pickup pro tip when putting the snails in the bag put the bag in like a cup or if you're in ontario put the bag in an old milk carton thingy whatever this is these things in ontario i know americans gaze in wonder at this device but you put the bag in something like that you put a little bit of water in and then it's so easy to just dump snails in there rather than holding the bag and spilling it everywhere like I used to do. You're obviously going to need a net to net the snails unless you're just going to use tongs to get them one at a time. Pro tip with that, put some food in the net, put it in the tank, go do something, come back in a half hour. There'll be a whole bunch of snails in there and then there you go. Those are the ones you're selling. Elastic bands to seal the bag because sometimes just tying it isn't enough or depending on how much water you put in Sometimes I can't get it tied and I use an elastic band, okay? And then if you are shipping it, I haven't covered this in the past or maybe I did in one older I don't know, whatever. Make sure you're packing it tightly and let's roll some b-roll footage showing you how to pack a, a bag Tightly in a box. Isn't this wonderful? You put the paper or whatever bubble wrap styrofoam Whatever you're putting in as packing stuff and you just make sure the bag isn't gonna roll around too much And that's how you limit uh, shock on your livestock when shipping now i th i think that's all you need to pack these guys for shipping so what now time to get rich bitch in reality what you're slowly doing here is building a customer base building some customer trust and then when you start to sell more things which is kind of my end if you haven't noticed that's the end goal with this kind of how to make money series is we're selling more and more things and we're making more and more money on top of the customer trust there also a bit of a product catalog you know we've sold some shrimp we've sold our plants now we're selling some snails guess what's next i bet you can't if priced fairly people will buy your snails with the plants and the shrimp i was really focused on not crashing the market with the snails kind of you kind of just have to price them at what people will buy them for i mean that's why with if you check with your local fish store they're gonna give you like i don't know five or ten cents a snail depending on the snail whatever where you might get like 50 cents a snail when you sell them otherwise you might get even you might get between that you know the price really does vary depending on the area even my snails at 50 cents each i probably have to lower that in order to meet the market price 
Yeah, economics. And make sure when people are buying from you, you're very polite and answer their questions. That's how you get repeat customers. As always, do what you're happy with. You can always reinvest as stated in past videos or just take the money and spend it on, I guess it's gas nowadays. That's what's really expensive, right? With this whole venture, you are the master of your own destiny. The sky is the limit. Some other lame cliche. Just really don't cause yourself any unnecessary stress. If people are starting to get to you, just take a break, chill. You don't have to sell them. You can just let your tank speed. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. You really, really help out the algorithm. Thank you. You watched it the whole way through, so why not give it a like? And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification to never miss a video again or a live stream. I do live stream on this channel if you're into that stuff. Comment your favorite way to make money, aquarium or not. Just don't mention drugs. Please. Huge shout out to my YouTube channel members. Mitch Bottoma, Robert Redman, Jamie A, 3DRC, Jake FWTX, Daniel Cordona, Amanda Curry, Gon Trimpin, Lucas Talbot with two T's, Aaron's Water Buddies, BJ Palmer, Tater Salad, Crypt Keeper Aquatics, Roman Pitroff, Zodiac246, and Kendra Crippen. If you would like a shout out as well as early access, some other perks, I am now doing doing live stream call-ins if you haven't noticed. I also have 24-7 Twitch up here. <laughs> my hobby shop, uh, my PayPal, give me money please. As well as some other stuff down there. I have a Facebook and stuff too. Thanks again for watching and remember, until next time, keep your shrimp hands strong. Bye bye now. Sna s oh, no. Are your sn yeah. Snails got you down. Do I wanna do the same meme? Unless you have like a really cool, oh, why'd I close my eyes there? Do you have a really cool or a rare snail, blah, 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 very cool or rail, rare, blah, blah, blah. You can sell a big, or sell, you can trade a big bag of, I can't talk. So when we make our own list, who may have, maybe has a, blah, 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 blah. it's time to get rich, bitch. Make sure when people are, uh, um, uh, um, uh, but when I'm, uh, uh, I, I, um, uh, of the, this, um, I, uh, 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 and as I, um, uh, um, um, uh, cause that's, that's going to, uh, 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 uh um, 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 stop, uh, 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 um, um, you suck.